All right, so doing this video just to so show the guys what I was planning on doing because it was going to be America's biggest turn so far. <laughs> but uh, Japan and Germany both see the writing on the wall and have decided to uh, surrender. But America is going to go ahead and blast the shit out of them real quick to uh, make sure it's an unconditional surrender. So we're going to go ahead and do uh, the last turn before the game is over. So combat moves, we'll start down here. So first thing, this is purchases, so I'm purchasing one, two, three, four subs, two fighters, attack bomber, four artillery, five infantry. Then what we're going to do, first combat move uh, from northern territory we're gonna walk in to western australia take that for uk next move we are going to move one destroyer into 42 one submarine into 42 to attack that japanese destroyer then one more destroyer is going to pick up a guy from Dutch New Guinea, one, two, drop him off in Borneo. Take that back for Australia. Then we are going to use three destroyers, which I'll just use a green ship, to go into uh, Sea Zone 35 with three men from Dutch New Guinea and take over the Philippines. He's going to, of course, kamikaze with everything he has left. Then we are going to move our tanks into Shangtung, as well as... Nine infantry in the Shangtung. We're gonna have four infantry. Hopefully, knock out this guy and on this tank and on way. Then we're gonna take two bombers to Hunan. I'll say four bombers to Hunan. Then the other two that are in Manchuria, one, two, three, four, into Yunnan. Then on top of that, we're going to take our three bombers from Moscow, one, two, three, four, five, with two left in the tank, into Yunnan as well. So that's five bombers in Yunnan, four bombers in Hunan. We will then also use our transport, pick up this... Transport in Dutch New Guinea, picking up this artillery, moving one into celebs, taking celebs over for America. That is all for combat moves on this side. Then to solidify our position with the Italians and the Germans. We're going to use five of the transports are going to come One, two, three, picking up six, seven, eight, nine, ten mechanized units and five, 
infantry. And they're all gonna drop off into Brook to wipe that out. Plus, this transport in 98 is going to go 1, 2, pick up 3 men, and drop them off into Tobruk as well. Plus, this bomber is going to fly over into Tobruk, and these aircraft will fly into Tobruk. So, really smashing it. Smashing it hard, one shot. Then the UK will be able to take over Libya on their turn if they were to have a turn, thus having the North African bonus of all, or the African bonus of having all the IPCs. So then our battleship will move over, our two cruisers will move over, plus. Aircraft carrier will stay still. And then the next part of combat is going to be this heavy cruiser coming into C Zone 110 along with, well, now one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. It's these two planes. Destroyer is going to pick up one guy from Morocco. Bring him in. He can't participate in the battle because he's carrying stuff. Then. I believe everything else is going to be non-combat. So we'll just roll that out. I wanted, I just wanted to see how, how hard I'd be able to hit him and how lucky I'd get in some of the places. So we'll start in season 42 where I have a submarine and destroyer versus his destroyer. All right. One for one. So I'll lose the sub, he loses the destroyer. Then next battle will be for the Philippines. So I'll roll two at a time. He'll have two kamikazes at each one of my destroyers carrying one guy. Hopefully one of them survives. So this is the first destroyer. Destroyed, got the first one. Second destroyer. Got the second destroyer. Big curiosity now. Third destroyer. Nice. All right. Third destroyer lift. So one destroyer left. Drops one guy into the Philippines. Closing that canal down and giving America back the Philippines. Big move there. So then next combat move would have been, we'll do Yunnan. So I have... One, two, three, four bombers versus his four tacks. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, nice. So he loses three, I lose two. So now he loses three, I lose two. We're back down two bombers versus one tack. 1-1. One, one. All right, so win that out. I lose three bombers. He loses four tacks. A little bit of a turn, but that's big killing all those planes. Japan would never have been able to afford them again, even had he rolled for their discounts. So then next one we're going to go with is going to be Yunnan. So yet again, four tacks. This time I have five heavy bombers. Whoa, shit. Okay, good. One for one. That's not horrible, but damn. 
So one for one. That was bad rules for everybody. All right, hitting him again. One, two, three, four, got him. I lose one more bomber. So that was good. I only still have three bombers left now there. Then the next battle would have been for We'll do to Brooke next. So I'll have five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Eight. Eight out of two, because all my infantry are supported by their artillery. I'll have two tanks at three, one fighter at a three, one tack bomber at a four, one strat bomber at a four, one bombardment at a four, plus two bombardments at a three. Yep. Which, honestly, if we were playing a little longer, I might have not hit it quite so hard and taken out his destroyer with my planes instead. But really, the destroyer poses no threat because France has got a whole bunch of guys across North Africa. So Nice. That's probably going to knock him out. So, one, two, three. Those are all misses. Four, five, six, seven, ten. Ooh, that was a hit. 13, 14, 3, 4, 5, 6. He's only got six guys. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't have gone out all out there, but I did anyway. So he's knocked out of Tobruk. All of his Italians are dead from Africa. Should have never went there. Then he's going to get 5, 3, 4, 5, and 1 of the 3. Bad rolls for him, only one hit there. All his twos missed, so. Italians are dead at North Africa. Tobruk is now American. I only lost one guy. Next battle would be for C-Zone 110. He has one German destroyer blocking. And then I'm gonna have one heavy cruiser. One fighter, one tap. So if he hits me once, I hit him twice. I'm going to damage my heavy cruiser since it is upgraded. Taking the hit on that. All right. So that's it for that. Then the rest is just like I said, it's just a strategy show. So we'll do non combats. So these three transports go back to C Zone 110. These three subs are going to come into the Japanese C Zone. So now I have seven subs there. So he's definitely not missing next time. Um, then. I'll just do placement while I'm doing it. What I would have done was I would have placed the infantry and the artillery. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine guys there plus a fighter. Then three more subs would have went into Alaska. That's it for placing that. So then non-combat down here, what I would have done with my Navy is <clears throat> blocker, blocker, now blocked because I own the straight and there's one destroyer up here. So I would non-combat these subs down here in 56, one, two, this sub into here as well, these subs, one, two, into celebs, all my heavy cruisers, into celebs plus these two last destroyers left over into celebs then i 
I would have had all of my artillery go to Queensland. These bombers. These bombers in Yunnan and Hunan would go. So they came one, two, three, four for this guy. One, two, three, and then four, five, six to C. Kang. And then these guys came one, two, three, four, five, six as well to C. Kang. Leave these for the China. Chinese next turn would obviously just walk in. Oh, I forgot this battle. This is so. I'm curious about that one. That would have been four ones versus a three. So I might lose this one, which wouldn't be great. But the Chinese would just make up for it. But I did get one hit, and he didn't get a hit. Damn. See, this would have been a big turn for America. So. The Anwei tank would have been killed. The Americans would have landed there. Next turn, obviously, the Chinese would have taken Yunnan and Hunan. Jahar would have wanted the Anwei. Plus, I'd have built another five Chinese guys that I had money for there. Um, done. Naval strategies done. Subs are done. Yeah, he couldn't reach because he could only get three from there. And then all my subs could hit down. I was actually thinking about building a naval base in Korea, but I ended up not doing that just because his strat bombers would probably hit it. And then I'd have to just not worth it necessarily versus just having my subs there and then freeing up the Philippines. Um, the rest non-combat, what we do is... It's a big one. I He wanted to take... He thought he could take Norway back, but I would never have let that happen. So my three fighters would fly to Finland... My anti-aircraft gun and man in Karelia would move back. Obviously, all Great Britain would move back. On top of this non-combat would have helped solidify that, that I moved this aircraft carrier now up into C-Zone 110. French fighters on their turn would land there. Um, this aircraft carrier comes up as well. These fighters land on there. On their next turn, they would land in Norway along with... Oh, and then this would pick up these last three guys to come up. And then I'd land with four guys in Norway, plus two planes. And the French would also land in Norway with another two guys. So that's six guys, two planes. Plus then these Germans would have to come through. 10, 11, 12, 13 out of two, plus an anti-aircraft gun, plus five fighters. Which they'd get through. But they'd lose all their land units and they wouldn't have enough to take Norway on top of it, in my opinion. Um, obviously this French transport's getting sacrificed to the Italians. Then this bomber would come back to Egypt. These planes would go back onto their aircraft carrier, of course. Uh, I'd place a submarine in 101, plus a fighter and attack bomber in the eastern United States. And that basically would have been America's turn, and we'd been up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'd have been all the way to 67 plus 25. So, we'd have been at 92 IPCs for next turn with a lot. And Japan hurting hard now without basically any Air Force. Um, yep, Germany obviously still pretty strong, but, you know, Schultz would have built another five guys here with his improved factories, plus the French would have moved in, tank would have moved in, rail two guys over. Fly a plane over, build another two planes, or another plane there, plus some more men. Then, I mean, Germany could have taken it, but that had been 21 guys and a tank and a fighter versus all of his tanks, which he'd win. But then Egypt would just pound up, build in South Africa, rail up, 
and he didn't ever got in Egypt, especially with all these men right here. I'd have just moved them in. The second in that we put a blocker in Transjordan. Had he moved into Transjordan, I would have landed with my ships and bombarded on him. Um, yeah, so I don't. I didn't see that happening. Uh, yep. So that's the basic strategy of what America would have done now that we own way more and now the Chinese would have been all the way up plus another three, four, five. China would have been making $18 a turn and that doesn't even include us getting back the Burmese road, which we would have to take Burma and India back, but there's nothing there. Um, yep. So that was basically it. Just wanted to show you guys what I was thinking.